My name is Rico, the Dungeon Master for Season 3, The Restoration of the Twelve Olympians. This season, we'll find our heroes traveling back to the lands of Eris and Enyo with Inharmonia as they adventure through and see what they have accomplished and completed by restoring the three fabled relics, the Sickle of Kronos, the Golden Apple of Discord, and the Robe and Necklace of Harmonia. We'll start with Deborah. I am Deborah, and I am playing a human rogue named Neith. Her name is Neith. And I'm Matt, playing a dragonborn monk named Ari Futan. And I'm Daphne, and I play Gilsira Venfire, who is a halfling druid. And my name is Rico. I am the dungeon master for season three of the campaign. I want to get this hind. I want you guys to get the hind too. We've been here for a year and we're finally getting to the good shit. Who's I'm, ready I know. for Deborah's diary? I can, I can get behind that. Oh my God. Gross. Do you have Sorry, a diary? I had to. Uh, Do you write in a diary? diary? Do you write in a diary? Yeah, diary. Oh, diary. Shit. I just dropped a D4. That's a caltrip. Hold on. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I got to heat my dice back up. In the last episode, our adventurers remembered that there was a five-hour time difference Hell between yeah. the forest and the outside world. Dog, episode 50 of this campaign. Let's go, champ. The canopy <sighs> is super thick. There's vines moving around. Like oh, they she's were... super thick, dog. Mm. The canopy is so thick. <sighs> yeah. Uh, I, mean, I don't need one. to <laughs> describe it anymore. <laughs> um, and our heroes walked forward. <laughs> forward. <laughs> And forward, <laughs> and ended up in the same place. Oh, it's With Lord the of the Rings trilogy, walking forever. Yeah, hey, you know, know how many awards Lord of the Rings won? So what I'm hearing is this podcast is going to win <laughs> seven Emmys. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Let's okay. Go. Um, Ari applies some deer piss to himself. <gasps> Fucking yeah, dude. And Gelsira attempts to commune with nature, but it became so oppressive <laughs> that she literally slowed down in walking. Oh, the party takes magic mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> and they all feel full. Dude, I, I hope I can get some more of those after we're done. I'm gonna. Yep. Jesus. I'm... However, they finally get into the bramble maze. Sell these traps back if we never set them. <laughs> At which point, Gelsira feeds the bramble maze with her magic. Feed the maze. Whoops. <laughs> oh, she's, she's crystalling. Okay. I'm gonna crystal too. And then all of a sudden, our heroes, after walking, 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 fight some dire wolves, which means I'm, guess what? I'm really excited for when Gelsira gets to turn into a Turns dire, into wolf. A dire wolf. I'm oh. really looking forward to that. Can we that. use that beast sense to find the hind? Um, Hold that microphone back to you. And in the end, <laughs> Neith uses her daggers and ends one of the dire wolves, as then Pan finishes off the other. Delsira did, actually. Delsira finished off the other. Pan did help. a lot of damage. Yeah, though. he did most of the work. I mean, he, he did. just uh, down there being sexy with the dire wolf, wrapping it up in a grapple, you with know. With his Jerking roar, it off. His <laughs> Jerking pan it off. roar. You know, oh. doing that firefighter calendar shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, champ. <laughs> I do kind of see Pan doing a firefighter calendar no, at some point. No, I'm picturing it right now. It yes. it works. The only thing he's wearing is the helmet. <laughs> So now that they have killed a couple dire wolves and Perry they have like seen March. the hind at one point, <laughs> but missed their chance to get it, let's find out what our players do in this episode of Some Play. Would say, play. That was a really good. <laughs> that was a really good diary, Deborah. Well that was done. Good. Way to go. Seriously, that was a really Thanks. good diary. That's how you know the episode was good when the diary, the follow-up diary, is also really, really good. So you guys. Ooh. Heard the loud buzzing. Oh, and yeah. It was getting that's, louder. That's not helping me sleep. You guys heard and saw birds flapping up above your heads, and you knew that they were carrion hunters like vultures and hawks and stuff like scavenger birds. There are also six other birds that you guys have not seen before in these lands. 
They may appear to be exclusive to the Royal Hunting Grounds, but they are silver feathered with black tips. All right, sorry. The there's some birds with silver feathers and black tips. Yep, the, I'm following along. The beaks <laughs> are golden colored, and their eyes are pure white. There's no color in their eyes, but they're circling overhead as well with the vultures and the hawks, and the buzzing. And Pan looking up at the circling. Birds of prey and the corpses at your guys' feet. So is the canopy open here? No. So they're like underneath the canopy circling? Ooh, bitches. Not good. And then Kill some, birds, baby. some of them to sleep. begin to dive down towards the deer and the wolf carcasses. The Let's six go, champ. silvered birds with the white eyes, the gold beaks, and the silver feathers that are tipped in black are still circling. The rest of the birds and you guys. None of the other birds are paying you guys much attention. They're just going after the fresh kills that are lying around the ground. Maybe we should just leave them alone. I mean, it feels like they would attack us if we don't take care of business, right? So you're thinking that we should attack them? Well, so okay, so there's there's a dead deer here, which is being eaten by these now dead dire wolves, right? And mm-hmm. these birds of prey are. Carrion birds, and they're yeah, like, thank you, carrion birds. They're into like getting this dead carcass shit. So like, we can either fight them off or let them have it. Is that what you're saying? Like, let's let them have it. Maybe move a distance away. I'm kind of thinking we should let them have it. I don't know. It's thirty by sixty in here, right? Yep, still so thirty by sixty. It's not. It's not cramped. We we could potentially move away from these corpses and and hope these birds do their business and go away. Is that what we're thinking? That's what I'm thinking. I don't know what, what you need. What do you Pan? think? Neith? What do you guys think? Let these birds do their carrion bullshit and have some sexy, wonderful feasting time. Yeah, what are my daggers doing? They're just fine. They're happy. They're so happy. All right. They're so I, sp- I feel like the less we stay here, the better. I don't know how big this bramble maze is, but we're not going to get very far just sitting here. Mm. I don't All right, that's fine with my with me. Well, probably taking a long rest is off the table. At least here, anyway. Yeah, we need to move away, man. Okay, let's. Well, I mean, should we stay in the square and hope to like catch some Z's no, at some point? I or think let's... we need to move away. All right. How, how are you doing on key points, Ari? T- I, you know, I've got like eight mm. left. You know, it takes two to pass without trace every time. So, I mean, does it take two? It does. Holy shit! Yeah, baby. How much do you get back on a short rest? I think I get them all back on a short rest. On a short rest, or as long a long as I meditate rest. for thirty minutes before I do it. Oh, I think we should probably maybe do a short rest. Maybe. Okay, hold on. Maybe if we come out of the square and just come down the path a little bit so that we're like definitely away from all of these things are about to go down on these beasts. That sounds good. (laughs) Go down (laughs) on these beasts. Okay. Like, you know what I mean? Like, maybe we can just rest down the path a little bit. Does that sound good to you, Pan? Yeah, it's fine with me. Okay. Maybe we could set traps on either side of us. What are we doing? We're going to leave the square and We're gonna leave go the down square, the path a little bit path. to relax. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's do that. So Pan starts to walk back out the way you guys came in. He's got his shield and his warhammer. It's resting over his shoulder. He's got his shield in his other hand. And he walks out of the square. I follow Pan. We and walk out of the square. The carrion birds are just feasting on the corpses. No problem. You, Those... go, you go, girl. Six other birds are still circling high above, as high as they can, being under the canopy anyway. <clears throat> okay. And the vines are following you guys, the vines inside the bramble that are now a little bit bigger than what they used to be. Okay, for the record, the vines, they can suck my dick. I just want that to be known. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> what? I mean, okay, do you tell this to them? More reactions. Do you look at the vines and be like, hey, vines. Suck my ass. <laughs> No, that's not what you said the first time. Suck his dick and <laughs> yeah. his ass. All of it. Whole of it. Neat just stays directly in the middle of the path, okay? All right. Are you saying I need to recast Pass Without Trace? No, you don't have to if you don't want to. Not yet. It's your call. We'll jump over this table. Damn. Okay, bring it. <laughs> that is his <laughs> Step pass, up, bro. pass Without Trace pass. It's his call. It's his key. But has it been an hour? 
Oh, well, the Pass Without Trace broke when you guys attacked the dire wolves. Oh, shit. All right, I cast Pass Without Trace again. Oh, sweet. Okay. So we need to like at least rest for 30 minutes, right? Is what you're saying? No, I need to meditate for 30 minutes before a short rest, which is like four hours. Okay, so we need to rest for like four and a half hours. Well, just I need my 30 minutes to be a part of the short rest. Right. Oh, okay, so it needs to be like meditate. four hours. Maybe so 30 minutes. Meditate. There would be no benefit to me taking a short rest, so maybe I can... You could guard us. Yeah, so I can keep guard. I love it. Okay, let's do that. Hey, Ari, how about we sit down and we'll go back to back? Yes, ass to mouth. <laughs> Human centipede style. <laughs> uh, yes, back to back, Neith. Let's do this thing. Are we going to rest back to back? Is that yes. what the deal? Okay. The idea is that my back is and not just towards. You and Jelly it. good with keeping guard for a little bit? Yeah, I'm perfectly fine. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to rest. I'm going to meditate for 30 minutes. So we're going to walk out of the square back onto the path, and you guys are yeah. going to sit down and rest? Yeah. Sweet. Do that. Kill all the monsters that come to eat us. And Pan's keeping an eye on the carrion birds and the six silver feathered birds that are still flying overhead. I'm just kind of like, so I'm facing the path right in front of us, and I'm just kind of keeping an eye on it straight ahead. Just sure. To, and also kind of to my sides, too, to make sure nothing's going to come out of the woods or out of the, through the bramble and try yeah. to get us. Good. I like that. Thank you. Feeling much, much happier sleeping. I pull my hood over my head. I don't actually have any benefit. I just, if I don't get a rest, then I'm probably going to start getting fatigued. Human, I'm fragile. Fragile as fuck, humans. Goddamn. Weak ass pieces of shit. And yet. <laughs> <laughs> also, while we're kind of sitting a lot here, of I don't know if this is going to work or if she's going to hear me, but I just say a little prayer to Artemis. Be like, hey, Artemis, we're in the, we're in the royal hunting crowns. You don't get a response. Didn't think so, but I just felt like just talking to her. Yes, it's it's just a short rest as long as I spend 30 minutes meditating as part of that short rest. So, Josira and Pan. Sexy. About ba -ba two ba -ba hours into the rest, <laughs> we are going to need to make deck saves. Shit. Yes, yes, what are you rolling? All of us? No, no, them. Nope. them so. Josira and Pan. I'm going to roll for fun, though. Oof. I got a seven. Oh, I did worse than that. P with, with your plus four from Pan? Oh, nine. Mm, that's unfortunate. How does seven plus four equal nine? No, I rolled a five. And you got a plus two from what? Well, my, my dex modifier is two. And then you got a plus four from Pan. Oh, okay. So plus six. Okay, so yeah, 11. Okay, so you are just fine. I'm here to help. How did Pan do? He failed his uh, dex save. Unreal. Oof. You're dead now. No, he's, <laughs> he's not. not dead. <laughs> you hear large pinks coming off of his armor. <clears throat> ding, 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 and because ding, you ding. made your deck save, <laughs> you're able to dodge the flowers spitting the poisonous spines at you. Put up These a shield. Poisonous spines are going at such velocity that they're actually sticking into pan shield and armor. Fuck yeah. And they begin to drip green ooze mm. from their tips. Pans in plate mail, so he's perfectly fine with it. Perfectly fine but with it. But two hours into your short rest, Pan attempts to wake you guys up. He goes to Neath <gasps> and gets down on one knee and puts his shield between the bramble vines Aww, and him and Neath. he really cares. And he <laughs> shakes you awake and he says, this is not safe, we're being attacked by the plants. And how many hours into our rest? Two hours. Unreal. Into your short rest. You get you got you got your half hour of meditation. You got your half hour meditation. That, but that you was got the two big hours thing. of your short rest. So what, I get half my key back. Yep, you can you'll get half of it back. Okay, well. Nope. And the reason that you guys are getting attacked is because your pass without trace right, wore they, off they after an hour. Yeah. yeah. And then you took a took a little nap. So vines begin crawling. Or slithering out of the bramble. Let's go, champ. And everybody will need to make more deck saves. I'm dex as fuck. Don't forget your plus four <laughs> from Pan's Aura of Courage. Oh, wow. Plus, oh, wow. An, an extra plus four? 
you're out of your mind over here. Aura of protection plus four to save throws. Yeah, All so save throws. Thirty one oh. then, I oh. guess. Eleven. <laughs> is this like an athletics or like anything, or is it just No, it's just a dexterity save. I'm feeling like thirty one's okay. good. Thirty one? Yeah, if you're giving me an extra plus four to the plus nine I already get. So I think you 22. Should, I'm proficient in dex. You're fine. You should and dodge all for saving everybody throws, else. baby. You're fine. I got 11. You're not fine. Oof. Pan is also fine. What'd Pan get? I'm not fine. 17. Needed a 15. 15 was a number to beat. 30. Yeah, Pan's aura of courage. It's just always on. It gives you plus four to all save throws. Nice. And I'm, prof- I'm proficient in all saving throws. Gangster shit. Right what here. is that called? Uh, it's a part of my level. Part of being up. a monk. But usually, like, you. there's yeah, a good no, name. I'll t- okay, it. I'll tell you. Hold on. Jesus I fucking know. Christ. Tell me. I tell love me. you to death. I love you too. We'll kill you. What? No, he won't. With my love. What? <laughs> when he when he reads it's this called thing, Diamond Debra. Soul. Oh, nice. I gained proficiency in all saving throws. Oh. I was just making sure I didn't have it. <laughs> and if I fail a saving throw, I can spend key things. and reroll. And reroll. Maybe. Nice. So. Vines Fishing. wrap you up, those. one around your feet, two that around you, each of your arms. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> and as the vines wrap you up, Not one you of mine. feel thorns and spines begin to dig into your unarmored portions oh, of no. your body. Oh, no. It turns Kill you on. Cyrus. What? You're excited. And I mean, as the vines wrap around you, they begin to pull and recede back into the bramble wall. And they begin to do their best to quarter you, as it were. <sighs> to rip your arms off of your torso and rip your legs off of your torso to leave your torso and head there. Am I able to do anything to forest. like try to like chop these off? Yeah, her? absolutely. I just wanted to explain what was happening to Jelsira. Oh, Jelsira, as you are being stuck with these poisonous spines, you have that ring on, right? Mm-hmm. So you're going to take a D2 of damage every turn until you get these vines off of you. There's no such thing as a D2. It is half of a D4. So you are going to take two damage this turn from poison. So I forgot that I had used Alter Self on myself for, to get the natural weapons with the claws. So I have clawed hands. So I'm trying to just kind of like claw the vines off of me. Well, the vines are wrapped around your up to your elbows, down to your hands, and they are pulling you in different directions. So you're not going to have the mobility to try and claw at these vines. Oh, shit, son. You are at the mercy of your party, hopefully helping you out. Uh, what will help, guys? <laughs> oh, yeah, I spring forward with my axe of bloodletting to cut some vines. Nice. Roll a hit. Jiggies. Sharp weapons are going to be a pro here. Penn doesn't have a sharp weapon, but he's got the edge of his shield. By God, he'll fucking bite into it if he has to. 20, you hit. 25. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> They're fine. <laughs> these, these, yeah, these aren't hard to hit. I mean, you need to beat a 10. If you're up in the 20 pluses, you can stop counting. I got Unless it, Unless you want to count baby. all the way and flex, like, here's what I rolled So I got to do damage? Yeah, just damage. That's a f- five damage. Would you like to expend a charge? To inflict the necro shit? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's save. go that route. Does that cost key points? No. no. Okay. That's a charge on the X. Okay. So you expend a charge? Yep. So the vine that you just slashed at gets yeah, a little bit bigger and a little bit engorged, and the spines dig deeper into Oof. your arms. Oh, sorry. My um, bad. That's on you me. You still get to do the additional damage, though. Oh, well, then it's 1d6 necro. It's five more damage. So 10 damage? 10 damage. Sweet. Um, so my, Pan is going sorry. to... <laughs> I see that happen. I'm like, shit. Bash <laughs> at one of them with his shield to try and cut into it. He hits, he can't miss. Four, one damage. For seven damage. And there are still the vines around her feet that have not been attacked yet. And wait, Ari, which one were you attacking? One of her arms? What? Which vine were you attacking? One around her feet or the one, one, one of them around one of her arms? Arms, for sure. I'd go for arms. Okay, yeah. Pan also went for an arm one. So my arms are free now? Nope. Oh. Damage was done, but they're not free. And okay. one of them is a little bit bigger. Hmm. Neith, are you going to... Need help. Do anything to help Josiah or, <laughs> or nah. Um Let her die. I'm gonna Fuck take Josiah. my daggers and try to like slice slice. Which one did you Don't do? Don't use magic. Feet or arms? One of arms. the arms. Arms? Yeah. 
I shouldn't use magic? I mean, is poison and necrotic magic? I, I don't think so. No, it's just it's just damage. Okay. What <laughs> these daggers are magic, yes, but she doesn't have to expend a point to activate the right. effect. So yeah, so I'm just gonna take my daggers and be like You do you will we'll slice, learn information. Slice. Roll to hit. Fifty. Roll fifty. Don't need to roll a fifty. <laughs> fifty. That's fifty. Just say fifty. What are you doing? We have to cheat. Or we won't win. Do I get my proficiency <laughs> bonus? Are you proficient with daggers? Yes. Then yes. Then yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because daggers are definitely a dagger you know is a rapier. Proficient, proficient with? with my fucking fists and that goddamn axe and simple weapons. Seventeen. You hit. I'm gonna throw a dart <laughs> into a vine. Yeah. <laughs> do they get since they're vines? Do they get poison and necrotic? Yeah, you can. Would, you can okay. roll your damage. I, I'm, I'm just, just making I would, sure. I would, I, would wild, like, <laughs> I would think necrotic would. Be effective against vines. They are living things. Yeah, definitely life. necrotic. So, but I, I wasn't punch sure a if like, vine? you could poison vines or not. <laughs> Wait for it. Roll better, you fucking pieces of shit. I want eights and sixes, you idiots. Okay, remember twenty. Fourteen damage. Somebody remember every time. twenty. Twenty. God. Twenty damage. Twenty. Yes. Twenty. Twenty. Okay, that, well, it. that was one of them. Mm-hmm. Blank page over here. Here we go. These daggers are so strong. Sixteen. So what? Thirty-six. I mean, so far. I love these daggers. I think I just came a little. Quite easily <laughs> cut her feet free from the vines. Right. The vines that were cut sound like they shriek a little bit as they slither back <laughs> into the bramble. I miss Jenna's sound effects. Josira, take one more poison damage. Your Fuck feet yeah. are now free. Ari, go ahead and attack the arm vine if you would like. I'm going to attack an arm vine, baby. I'm going to punch that shit. Oh, that's a nat 20, baby. Double so damage. 50 damage. No, um, 2d8 and 2d6. Can't I just multiply the one roll? Or no, should I roll just twice? rolled twice. How dare you. I know. So <laughs> 10 plus. That's not bad, though. Uh, oh, there we go. 11. So 21 all together. 21, baby. So one of your arms is now free. As nice. Ari cuts the vine. Bippity, it bippity, trips bippity. Green poison and shrieks as it slurs back into the bramble and <laughs> then pan realizing his shield isn't going to do it he's going to grab the vine and just try and rip it off of you from your arm let's see if he's strong enough oh he's absolutely strong enough that's a 20 um fireman pan yeah <laughs> seven plus the previous four he did 11 The vine rips and shreds, and it begins to squeal as it slithers back into the bramble. And let's see if he's good enough. Oh, yes, he is. Yeah, As you go to fall, Pan catches you with his one free hand that doesn't have the shield by the collar of your leather armor. And he sets you down gently, and he pats you on the head, and he says, are you okay? I'm okay, except I took a little poison damage. Oh, let me fix that for you. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> let me fix that so for you. So he rubs his hand on your head about and to find ruffles out if it works. your hair right. a little bit. And what? he goes, he ruffles her hair. Ruffles your hair. Yeah. Ruffle that hair. And he attempts to do lay on hands. Uh, let's go 50-50. Become sexy. <laughs> Higher than a five, it works. Is he laying five or lower, on? it doesn't work. Ooh, he rolled a seven. Nice. His lay on hands does work. He expends oh, yeah. five points of lay on hands pool plus <laughs> three points of <laughs> life and heals you back up for five and cures you <laughs> of your poison. Oh, nice. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, everybody, for helping me. We're here to help, baby. Uh, you Jesus. really needed higher than a five for that to work. Do I gave some him savage <laughs> shit, Jelly. Get some payback. All right. Well, um, I forgot that I had my Wolverine claws. I feel like we have to kill this forest. <laughs> I, I mean, once we're in battle, I can't just pass without trace and hope it goes away. Let's kill the forest. All right. How about you just breath weapon and burn the whole thing breath down? Breath weapon the forest. <laughs> can I do that? But can I breath weapon the forest? Yeah, you can certainly try. <laughs> and maybe you should save that. I'm going to breath weapon the forest. All right. Are you going to breath weapon the bramble? 30 feet I'm gonna of breath bramble weapon the that's bramble. in front of you? Whoa. I don't know. They may attack us if you do that. I give a fuck. <laughs> so where, where, where like, do you breath weapon? <laughs> I breath whoa, weapon whoa. The, the bramble. It's already chaotic. I don't remember. Or is he neutral? I think he's neutral. 
I'm lawful neutral. This, there's no laws being broken here. It's the goddamn royal hunting grounds. Suck my anus. <laughs> it's my breath weapon. Yes, I breath weapon the bramble. All right, so you inhale sharply, and then smoke starts to billow out of your nostrils and your mouth, and then you exhale, and as you do, a big inferno cone goes out towards the bramble, and then the fire hits the full bramble wall and begins to be absorbed into the bramble wall. Oh, no. It's fire. And it does. It chars the bramble. Look but here, DM. It smokes. It's not magic. Yeah, I, I know. Will fight you. Okay, that's fine. You can perfectly <laughs> fight me. That's right. fine. <laughs> Run up later. I know what you're about to do. <laughs> but um, the bramble begins to smoke. He doesn't see that it's on fire, but you smell burning bramble. Yeah, suck my ass, bramble. And then the bramble begins to wither away like when she was cutting at it. Yeah. It begins to, you don't see the fire, but you see bramble just moving away and yeah. the vines begin to recede and slither away. Get out of here, away. bramble. Bye-bye. And you've cut, and you've cut, uh, and as it slowly begins to burn, there's, what was it, 15-foot wide cone yeah. or something like that? Sure was. There's now a 15-foot wide hole in the bramble as nice. the bramble just falls and collapses and there's left a big old 15 foot hole in the wall. Hell no yeah. fire, but it burnt. It hell yeah. nice. burnt. You can smell the burning bramble. I'm out here doing work. <laughs> <laughs> I wish my pre's flame worked. That was a canter. If I could just burn this whole thing down. No, well, that's magic. Magic. Mm-hmm. I got breppins. So now you have oh. a 15 foot hole in front of you and on the other side of the hole, you right. see assholes. Um, another path and more bramble wall. Yeah. Are we still being attacked by vines or what's happening? No. No. Oh. The vines have receded back after you cut them off of Josira. Oh. Well, what should we do? Should we do pass without trace and just keep going, pick up where we left off? I'm perfectly fine with keeping walking. All right, let's sure. keep walking. Pass without trace. Running through a lot of key, my dude. I got some back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to burn through a fuck ton, but I, I mean, I don't want to be fighting vines every five seconds. You know I wish I, mean? true too. I, I wish I prepared Pass Without Trace. Oh, Pan you should have, have also without prepared trace? Pass Without Trace. What? I was thinking, oh, Ari what has it. What's wrong with you people? Oh, they thought we'd get it back with Ambrosia. That's... I was not so optimistic. That's why I tested it after spending like four. So you guys begin to walk. You come to another Same seat. Ambrosia. It nope, goes it left work. and okay. it goes right. Let's go left. Let's go left. What do you guys want to do? I'm on board with left. Neath? Pan? I'm fine with Let's left. Let's do it. Let's go left. So you guys turn left, and the insect buzzing gets a little bit louder. You can hear the birds cawing and calling out, you know, out in the wood. You can still hear prey animals' death throes and screams, and you hear... The occasional bones and sinew snapping and breaking. Ah. You hear the wet sound of blood splashing onto trees. Can I like take a nap and people carry me? No, that won't work. Piss without trace. Piss. Piss without <laughs> trace. What? And as you turn left, time. you run into another fork in the road. It goes left, it goes right, and it goes straight. Okay, so I'm going to try something. Okay. I would like to see if I can wild shape. Into what? Into a dire wolf. You successfully wild shape <gasps> into a dire nice. wolf. Nice. So now that I have um, keen sense, I'm gonna ch- I'm gonna ch- see if I can use my sense of smell to see which direction we should go in. Sure. Is I'm um to see if there's anything that smells like the hind. You what? do not smell the hind, but you do smell three very fresh kills. You smell a lot of deer urine. <laughs> you do not smell pan, <laughs> and you smell Neath's natural <laughs> scent. Mm-hmm. Elsira, do you smell me? Smell pee. <laughs> ah, damn. Has it been five hours? Should I reapply? One, two, three. Yes. I reapply the deer piss. Smelling. I had to do the fresh. math real quick. I'm smelling fresh as hell in deer piss. Oh, man. So the if there was any piss. sense you could get from finding the hind. I bought an amulet. I had to give it away. You smell Ari, who just reeks <laughs> of deer urine. <laughs> um, 
Okay. Well, you don't smell yourself. You know you don't smell yourself because you know that you were wearing an amulet. And you know that Pan's wearing an amulet, which is why you don't smell Pan. Oh, one good thing about being the dire wolf, I get a plus four stealth. Yeah. Oh. All right. Well. DM, so I can be smelled. So left, right, and straight are the directions in front of y'all. Hey, Ari. Where, where is that? Where'd Ari go? What up? Hey, give me an application of that deer piss. Here you go, champ. <laughs> This one had three in it. I used two, so it's the last bit. So just toss, toss, All right, douse I've yourself. Put some deer piss on you now me. smell two people that reek of deer <laughs> urine. Reeking of deer piss. We're pissing it up, baby. And because you are so close to the party, oh, it is throwing it. off it, any other scent that you it, were able to pick up. But it also turns you on. Like it's you're just into it. Overwhelming deer urine. Where did you say the direction of the queen kills were, or the fresh Back kills? Back the way you came. Oh, okay, yeah. You you know that the fresh kills that you smell are the deer and the two wolf, the two dire wolf corpses. Let's keep going. What are we doing? Let's keep going. I think we should go straight. Let's go straight. Says Pan. Yeah. Cargo, what do you think? Straight's as good as anything. I love it. Let's go. Let's yeah, go I'm okay straight. with straight, too. <laughs> Neith, you good with straight? Sure. Jelly, you good with gay? <laughs> 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 so you guys keep going straight. You walk for, I don't know, about 10 or 15 minutes. Oh, yeah. This is leisurely stroll. We're loving it. Yep. And you come Best. to a 30 by 60 clearing. In the middle of the clearing, about 15 feet away from you guys, I are will fight two you. corpses of dire wolves <laughs> and a deer. There are six birds circling above you Did we with just make silver a circle? feathers and black tips. Dog Somehow. Ari just commits suicide. <laughs> What? And there are carrion birds eating the corpses of the kills. We were supposed to finish this tonight, and we've actually no, done a I pretty good know. job. I don't of know like... that we were supposed <laughs> to finish this tonight. I'm just, we're in the hunt. I wasn't optimistic. We made it. No, there's no fucking way. <laughs> and then Pan gets incredibly frustrated. What's wrong, Pan? We went in a goddamn circle. We did, and you know. And we're back at this goddamn spot. With these stupid fucking birds, and we haven't made any ground whatsoever. <sighs> but what should we do? Go right instead of left. All right, let's do that. And then Pan turns around, and there is a bramble wall directly in the path. Let's just... You want to try to walk through it, Pan? No. What do you mean, no? That might be a real wall. All right, I... um. Take out a piece of jerky. It's not even a pound, okay? It's just like... Yeah, just a little tiny it's piece. a piece of jerky, yeah. and I throw it at the wall. Does it like seem to go through, or does it seem to connect with bramble it bullshit? It connects with bramble, and it hits bramble as it trickles down and eventually hits the ground, and then Karga's like, I would have eaten that. No, I sneak <laughs> over to it and grab it. Oh, you don't have to sneak. You just grab it. I you sneak. just pick it up. I know, okay, I, but I sneak. do sneak. I don't trust Karga this goddamn excited. bramble. And he's like, oh, can I eat that now? Yeah, here you go, Betty. And I, he... I didn't mean to deplete our 35 pounds of jerky. <laughs> and then he takes it and he nibbles on it. Carga. And he's happy. Carga. Yeah. We have 35 pounds. How tall are these walls? We got plenty of jerky. I can throw about some of it away. How high up is the canopy? Uh, Probably about 80 feet. So there's like about 60 feet then. You want me to fly up? I'm going to fly well, up. Well, actually, I can't talk um, right I now. I mean, so. the last time we sent something to fly up, it got... Yeah, Whomped. but I'm not going to go up to the canopy. I mean, how low is the how canopy? How tall is the wall, you say? Just say it again, DM. Say the same thing over and over again. <laughs> Look, I'm your typical- The wall's typical... about 12 feet tall. <laughs> and then and the, the, to the top 80 of feet? the canopy is 80. All right, I fly oh. up about 20 feet to see what I can see over the wall, around the wall. And you see a oh, maze. A Everybody's still within my 30 feet. Bramble wall. And off- over in that that ish direction. Yes, that ish. Yep, that ish direction. Probably about northwest ish. You see a break in the canopy with golden beams of sun coming down into what appears to be a large circular clearing. Make a deck save, please. Oh no! Oh no! You don't know about my dex proficiency, dog. I mean, you are pretty proficient. <laughs> oh baby. Um. 27. And you are able to deftly dodge as vines and tree branches begin to whip and Ooh, knock at you. Matrix. And they will do so and continue to do so as long as you are in the air. 
Well, and the silver birds that were circling look over <laughs> in your direction, and they I begin to make a beeline towards your direction. I land, and I tell the party, um, so northwest of here, keep this in your heads, northwest of here, big clearing, beautiful golden rays of sun, I think that's the way we gotta go, but I went up, and now I'm getting attacked by <laughs> vines, and these birds are coming at us, so I don't know. I, and right while ideas. you were in the middle of the discussion, three of the six birds begin to dive bomb at the party. All right, I punch them. All three We're of them. We're going to need to roll initiative. Froze it. Froze hey. it. You just crack it, and you, it's 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 like um, silicon or whatever. You can push up on the bottoms. They're not hard. It's the best. 17. Oh, that sucked. Eight. Total? Yeah. Ouch, dog. <laughs> I know. You know, I, I, I'm not actually cheating. I just talk about cheating. <laughs> Roll to four. I get a plus four to initiative. That's eight. That sucks. Deborah's got a plus nine to initiative. Yeah, Neat Rogue's does. a pretty BA. For these dice being untrained, they sure are rolling really high. Oh, there was a low roll finally. Remember that and just untrain your dice. These these are the GM dice. These dice aren't, tra- aren't trained. I will untrain them, though. There's nothing to untrain. They're I'll not trained. I'll train them for ones. 25. Sweet. Sweet. You will be going first. Did you need to go do something really quick? I gotta uh, pee. She gotta go pee. poop. Yeah, go now. No, I could go. I could do. It. I could do this. Go pee. She can go first and then go pee. Yeah, I can go first oh, and then okay. go pee. So, right? yeah. you with your twenty-five, you I'm get dead. to go first. Ari's dead. Ari's not dead. Wait, what is it? Vines and all that st- that shit? Nope. These are the birds with oh, the silver shit. feathers, with the black tips and the golden beaks and the on the all white hey, eyes. Did I get any HP? Back when I did my half a short rest. Yeah. How close are they? How much? Like half of my full? Yeah. I mean, they're like all the way up in the uh, air. A quarter of your full, because you would get half at a short rest, full at a long rest. Uh, they're dive bombing, you guys are getting oh, ready to. Okay. So three of them are about 10 feet away. The other three are still making their way towards your direction. Okay, so they're like, I can move towards some with my daggers. Yeah. Okay, I do that. Do they know I exist? Oh, yes. Damn. They know you exist. Well, I rolled an 18. You rolled a what? 18. Or you rolled an 18? Uh-huh. Oh, you're so, going to hit. Yeah. Okay, so I slashed, slashed, slash, slash with Twisted Fate. Those daggers are so... I love their names. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to give everybody really cool shit. So I remember 15. <laughs> 15. Plus 14. What did I tell you to remember? 15. 15. 29. Plus 14, so 29. Nice. All right. Good hit, good hit. 18 Pan AC. is going to try and catch one of the birds that are dive bombing, and he's going to try and grab it. So let's see if he's fast and dexterous enough to do so. Let's all lay oh, hands. Oh, baby. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yes, sir. Pan actually <laughs> grabs one of the birds that was dive bombing Ari. Makes sweet love and- to it is able to grab it around its neck, and he begins to squeeze. Yes, sir. And then with his second attack, he's going to physically bash the bird into his shield. Fuck and that bird! <laughs> Fuck them birds! There is going to be a large clang <laughs> as the bird beats against the shield. It almost sounds like metal clanging on metal. Let's go, champ. As the bird takes eight damage. Yeah, it does. As Pan begins to grip it by its neck I'm and sh- is going to play symbols with his shield and this bird. That's good. I'm sure you meant like 80 damage. Nice. Way to go, Pan. Good roll of 18. Good plus job, your Pan. Strength modifier. We love you. Way to go, man. Hey, you I'm it, happy dog. I get to do stuff with him. It's been <laughs> a long it. time since I've, it's been about a year since I've got to play. Hey, so we're all excited. happy I'm about it, too. I'm glad he's with us. <laughs> quite, we need him. And that was. I'm just going to wait for Ari to get his ass kicked before he gets to go rolling. All right, eight. there's going to be another bird that's going to dive bomb Ari, and it is going to miss you as it zooms past your head, and you hear it cut through the wind like a knife would cut through the wind if you were to throw a dagger. <laughs> yep. Something just like that. 21. Josira, it's your turn before two birds get to go. Um, How far How far away are... I'm within five feet of 
of allies, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so oh, yeah. So one thing cool about a dire wolf is they have this thing called pack tactics. Yeah, they sure do. It's a trait, so that means that I get advantage mm-hmm. on attack roll if any of my allies that are not incapacitated are within five feet. So, um, how big are these birds? Up close, the birds have a wingspan of about nine feet, and their bodies are about three and a half feet long. They're in the air right now, right? Three of them are still in the air. Pan has one in his hands. Neath has cut one. <laughs> and one just zoomed by Ari that is close enough that you could attack. So I like to attack that one, and I like to try to jump at it and try to bite it. Nice. In All the right. air. Make an attack roll. And I get advantage. Yep. And it's plus five to hit. Dope. Advantage and plus five? I got a 24. Nice. Do you want to roll again to see yeah, if you see, get a nat 20? Yeah, it doesn't nat that 20 It doesn't hurt. hurt. Right. Yeah, may, may, you have advantage. You, oh, you know what? It doesn't hurt. I may as well take advantage of my advantage. <laughs> 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 I had to. Yeah, that's not a nat 20. Okay. <laughs> so you take the better of the two. So you're right. 24. Nat 50. Yep. Uh, you hit. Nice. No way. Was I able to get it in my Yahweh. mouth? Yeah, You were able to get it in your mouth. Nice. What? <laughs> <laughs> Deborah's like, well, what did I walk into? It's like I came back, some shit was in mouths. I was go to the bathroom, gosh. <laughs> She's like, I'm gone for, I'm gone for three minutes. Here we go, champ. Okay, so this is, um, the hit is 2d6 plus three. Let's kill these birds pierc- and then this episode. Piercing damage. Oh. What? Don't forget your savage attacker. Oh, that's right, okay. So if I get two of them, yes, that means sir. I, okay. Oh my god, I just rolled snake eyes. <laughs> it's a good thing you're a savage attacker yep. and you get to roll a damage twice. Savage attack. Oh, and I got a six that time. Maybe I'll roll another six. I got a three. Okay, so nine plus three. So 12. 12 damage? Yep. Nice. Yeah, I'm glad I'm a savage attacker. 12 damage. You kill it? No. Doesn't Damn. sound like it. So there is another one at 16. Be it's best. going to dive at Ari. Come on, bring it, bitch. It's going to miss Ari. Hell yeah. The second one you is going balls. to dive at Ow. Ari, and it's going to miss Ari. Suck balls. ba uh, 14. That one is in a mouth. That one is grappled by Pan. In a mouth, grappled by Pan. That one doesn't go on a 14. Get in the shocker. Ari, your turn. Uh, I, I'll punch one that's close to me, I guess. There is one that just, there are two that just dove at you that are within striking distance. Hell yeah, then I'll punch yeah. the one to my left. Why not? Let's say words. spend more time fighting the fucking forest than we are the hind. Fuck yeah. Uh, you guys had advanced knowledge that everything in the forest would try to kill you. <laughs> 27 to hit. Nailed it. That sucked. What'd this one do? This whole forest, Deborah, was designed to protect the Six damage. Six (sighs) damage. Bonus. Unarmed attack. Fucking luck point there. It doesn't work. So then I critical fail. (laughs) So you whiff? Bonus attack. (laughs) whiffed. So you miss? Yes. Okay. Extra attack. Uh, Fucking 21 to hit. You hit? Hell yeah. I'm killing it. Six damage, 12 all together on this piece of shit. All right. Sucks my anus. Let's see. The bird that you stabbed at with your daggers swoops up into the air and begins to dive bomb you. How many hit points do these things have? Magical creatures in a magical forest, they've got just enough. And it nat 20s on you, Deborah. Fuck. I feel like it's we're okay. in the film of the birds right now. It's okay. It's just 2d6. What was it? Alfred Hitchcock? Alfred, Alfred Hitchcock. Nine damage, Deborah. <laughs> I hadn't taken damage yet. And then after that, we will be back at the top of the order. So you now have one of these birds flapping wildly in your face as it's pecking and clawing at you. Ah! But it's well within melee range. Okay, well, I'm going to But go s- as it is pecking and clawing at you, you are getting small cuts across your face because these feathers actually feel like sharp daggers. Ah! Oh, shit, son. I slashity slash slash. Slashity slash slash. <laughs> yeah, what he said. Sweet, roll <laughs> he the hit. He said it better than I did. Snooch. Snoochy boochies. So it's a minimum of a 20. Minimum. 25, yeah. 50. 50 damage. So 19. 
19? So far. You can't not kill it, Deborah. You can stop. Sir. No, I actually, kill it. Keep yeah. going. Keep going. Let's see how high you can get. Let's go. How high can you get? <laughs> plus 17. What was my first one? 19. 19 plus 17. 36. There you go. 58. Nope, that's not how math works. <laughs> no, I think, you know, let's so call in LeVar you Burton. dig your dagger into the breast of the bird that was flapping and clawing at you, and it yep. lands to the ground. And as it lands to the ground, you hear a heavy thud, and it feels like this bird may be heavier than what it looks. Congratulations. You have successfully killed one of these unseen mystical magical birds. One. I've killed one bird. Way to go. I don't feel that, like, accomplished for one some reason. One is more than none. <laughs> had his bird by the neck that he plucked out of the air like he was goddamn Mr. Miyagi from The Karate Kid. <laughs> Begins to squeeze and grip down on the bird's neck. He's going to just try and break its neck and juice it like a goddamn apple or orange, I guess. Whatever. Uh, for five more damage. Which one were you? You were this one here. And then with his second attack, he's going to play symbols and gong the bird Let's off of the Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. Four. 50 damage. Five damage. Nope, 50. I think you forgot the multiplier. Nope. He's just using unarmed and bashing it on his shield. Yeah, but it's like times 10 because Bahamut's a cool shit. I mean, Bahamut <laughs> is a cool shit, but it doesn't make him better at <laughs> Bashing metal birds against his shield. Look, I'm over here trying. You're trying. I appreciate you. And then, oh, this other bird that doesn't have any damage on it at all is <laughs> going to dive bomb at Ari again. Bring it. And it's going to miss. Yeah, baby. Good job, bird. You fucking suck. Josiah, it's your turn. Galsyra, These birds are not hitting very well. Turn. Um, I just want to bite the bird that's in my mouth <laughs> right now. Down on it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you, well, you have it grappled. You can successfully continue to bite down on it. Yeah. So you don't have to roll to hit. You can just roll your damage. Uh, yeah. Savage attack applies here, right? It Hell sure yeah. shit does. Why it's not? a bite attack. Why wouldn't it? Let's go Exactly. Champ. That's right. Why wouldn't it? Yep, it's a bite attack. And always assume it counts. It does while you have it in your mouth, it does taste Delicious. irony or metally. Yeah, no, it's yummy. <laughs> like as as she's biting down on it, you can hear her teeth gnashing against metal. You love it, weirdo. So five metal birds. Ooh, I got a weapon, Gross. but it means we'll do my savage attack. Might as well. You might roll higher. Might as well. Five. I mean, you could roll two sixes Nine. and get twelve. Okay, so I got so I roll eleven plus fourteen damage. Fourteen. That's damage. better than 11. Yeah. Yep. Mm, 100 damage. Uh, which one was that? That was Deborah's. That's Pan's. That's Ari's right here. 14 damage. Sweet. Let's see. One of the 16s is now in your mouth. It <laughs> can't attack. The other 16 is still free to attack, so it's going to dive bomb at Ari again. Bring it on, bitch. It's going to miss. Yeah, that's what I thought. What? It's going to miss. Oh, it misses him. Got yeah, it. it misses him. I got super confused. I was like, uh, how did he miss? He didn't roll. There is one 14. <laughs> that oh, is to attack. Because the DM says so. <laughs> you know, the DM says so. That's whatever. And Ari, it's finally going to hit you. It wishes. No, it did. It got <laughs> an 18. <laughs> fantasy. Plus it's, it got an 18 on the dice. When it's living in that fantasy life. For six damage. Yeah, ain't shit. No, it really isn't. Watch me. Watch me whipping Nay Nay. <laughs> uh, that was the 14. That 16 couldn't attack. Ari, it's your turn, and then we'll go back to the top of the list because the six is dead. I'm going to kick some yeah. shit out of whichever one motherfucking just dam damaged me. It would have been the one that you punched earlier. Punching again. Uh, Nope. Multi bad, which, bad you... fail. That's a one. Oh, okay. Bonus, unarmed attack. <laughs> Happening with my dice. 11, nope, 12 to hit. You miss. Yeah, extra attack. Happening with my dice. I don't know. 21 to hit. You hit. Hey, there we go, champ. Real eight damage. Neath, it is your turn. Yeah. There are two within melee distance of you. Kill some of these shits. I she's, slash. She's successfully killed one. She's the only one that's been able to kill one. I'm kind of the best. 
I slash with my daggers. Roll to hit. F. I rolled a one. You miss. Oof, I hit oof. myself. <laughs> you rolled a natural one. Yep. Ari. What up, G? High or low? Oh, fuck yeah, high. Josira, high or low? Low. Oh, you guys hear additional cutting through the air <laughs> as <laughs> these <laughs> daggers <laughs> definitely dance very near to your necks. Hell yeah. But Whoops. then away from you guys. My bad. Oof. High <laughs> <laughs> hey, five, Jelly. What's up? My eggs were all like <laughs> in course, cor- close quarters. Yo, instincts, baby. And then Pan is going to, again, try to break this bird's neck to kill it with one fell swoop. Oh, and that 20 will do it. Let's go, so champ. So you see Pan as he looks at the bird directly in the eyes. He pulls it up to his mask. And then he just squeezes as hard as he can until his plate mail gauntlets make a full fist. Full fist. And then the body of the bird drops to the ground with a hard thud. There is, you know what mercury, liquid mercury looks like? Hell yeah. Liquid mercury begins to drip out of, yep, quicksilver begins to drip out of the body of this bird. And then Pan opens his gauntleted hand, and there is a smashed birdie skull that drops onto. Hell yeah. I mean, the bird was never going to break his grasp, so Uh, I wasn't going to do six or seven turns of squeezing its neck and break (laughs) and symboling with its shield. That's just Uh, absurd. Don't break the fourth wall. (laughs) 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 Says the guy who picks it all the time. So that is two birds down. That was Pan at 24. Oh, there's the bird at 21. Ari, another bird is going to dive bomb you. Bring it, bitch. Brit- I'm Brittany, bitch. Nat 20. <laughs> Hot dog. It's going to hit. And it will roll damage twice. Ones. It's going to roll Three, ones twice. Eight, nine. One. 13 damage. One damage. 13 Got it. damage. One damage. That was 21 damage. Naked Josira. Naked of 13 damage. Do I still have the bird in my mouth? You absolutely <laughs> still have this I'm just bird gonna, in your mouth. This fucking maze is too hard for us. I'm, I'm just going to keep... <laughs> I know, right? I'm just going to keep chomping down on it. Nice. So. You feel the metal start to give. You feel like if you bite hard enough, you may be able to just pierce this whole body of this silvery metal bird. Look, is- if you kill us all, I think it's Jelly's turn's next. You guys aren't going to die. Daphne's turn next. You have a pocket healer. Because I got to wait till February because I'll make y'all play the Goblin Slayer TTRPG. Ooh, seven. Okay, so nine. It doesn't come out till then. 12 piercing damage. Two sixes? No, I rolled a 50. I rolled a nine. And then, well, I rolled a six and a three, and then it's plus three. No, no, no. Oh, a six and a three plus three? Yeah, that was after my savage. That was with my savage attack. I can't fuck with all these high level players, but they're all dead. So I could Mm -hmm. could fuck with that. You feel your fangs pierce into the body of the bird. Hot. You guys are able to look over at <laughs> Dire Wolf, Dire Wolf Jelsira, who now has Quicksilver oozing out of her <laughs> mouth as the bird is slowly trying to kick and claw its way out, but it's not having much luck. She's almost gone top teeth to bottom teeth and fully closed her mouth around this bird. You can't not kill it next turn, Jelsira. If you'd rolled two sixes, you'd have, you'd have instantly killed it. And that was Jelsira. One bird at 16 can't attack. It's almost dead in Jelsira's mouth. One more 16. It's going to fly at you. All right. How many and it's going to miss. There? I'm at like 63. I'm all I'm right. hard to hit. Would love and... to re-up, though. I, if we could take 14, a on rest, that would be cool. Just it saying. would be, but it's not going to fucking happen. Is dead. <laughs> <sighs> Everything in Ari, here wants to kill us. Ari, is going to try and attack you. Maybe Let's you go, need to champ. save your pass without Trace. 19, it for, hits. Uh, when we're resting. <laughs> it hits with its penis. For eight damage. Well, what if? Let's go, champ. I can't do math. Hmm. I guess you can. I have an idea. The six is dead. What's 63 minus 8, people who can still do math? 63 minus 8? Yes. Is 55? That tracks. 55. Yes. Sure. That's exactly gonna, what it is. I'm going to break out the calculator at some point. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. <laughs> too many drinks. The All math right, it's is your hard. turn. I punch a fucking dumbass that's near me. Sweet. 15. Total? To hit. You miss. I punch again. 
Boy, yo, that's like 24. You hit? Hell yeah. We hit, we hit, we hitting up in here. Seven damage. Extra attack. 16 to hit. You miss. Fuck, fuck that thing. It sucks. All right, back to the top of the list. Neath. <laughs> Guess I just go slash, I did slash, some slash. Damage. You're going to swing at another bird? Yep. There's a couple around Ari, so be very careful. Don't roll any more ones. You just kill me. Kill Ari. But a seven. <laughs> Total? Seven. No. You're not going to die. Calm the fuck down. Quit being so melodramatic. You miss. Damn. All right. Pan is going to try and snatch another one of the birds out of the air. Nat 20. Nice. He grabs another bird (laughs) right out of the air. Nice. (laughs) Seriously, there it is. Check it out, Deborah. Nat 20. I'm checking it. I see a nat 20. So he snatches another Beautiful. bird out of the air. It's confirmed. And with his second attack, he's going to gong it onto his shield <laughs> because he knows none of his magic is going to work. <laughs> so gong for four damage. Uh, let's pick this bird here that hasn't had any damage on it yet. So that 16 is now grappled. That 16 is now grappled. That 14 is dead. That six is dead. The 21, one more bird that gets to go before y'all. And, oh, that's it. Just one more bird that gets to go before y'all because two are grappled and two are dead and there were only six birds. Oh, this bird. Oh, oh yeah, grappled. Grappled, grappled, dead. Yeah, nice. And it misses you, Neith. Yay. Completely whiffs. And that is gel side. N- nope. Nope, that's Jill Cyrus' turn. That was the 21 burb. All right, well, I'm just going to bite down again. That's the 21 burp? <laughs> the 21, <laughs> the 21, 21 burp. burp. Oh. <laughs> that's 21, was it, 21 was its uh, was its initiative. That's what I heard, too. The burp? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can't not kill it this 2D6 turn. 2d6 plus 3. Ooh, I just rolled a 5, 4, 9. I'm going to eat some savage decks. Why not? Oh, no. Okay, so 9, so 12. So there is a loud, sickening crunch as teeth gnash into metal and other teeth. The bird, you feel it deflate in your mouth, and your teeth clinch down against your own teeth. You were... So you know how when a dog (laughs) chews on a rawhide bone, there's the middle in its mouth and the two sides on the outside? Mm -hmm. So what happened is when your teeth met your teeth and you bit through the bird, the head and the lower half of the body drop to the ground (laughs) and leak out their mercurial-like quicksilver blood. And there is now, you now have a mouthful (laughs) of metal bird. (laughs) So this bird is now in three pieces. Congratulations. You quite successfully (laughs) mangled that fucking bird. That fucking bird. Yep. And um, the blood doesn't taste very good, but it doesn't taste it doesn't taste poisonous. It's Ah. just foul tasting. And then it's going to be that bird's grappled. That bird's dead. (laughs) That one. Ari, the bird that you are currently punching is going to fly and swoop at you again. And, oh, it's going to nat 20. 16 damage. 21 burp. Jesus. Hell yeah. Uh Ari, it's your turn. Fuck yeah, I'm going to punch that motherfucker. Die tonight, it's going to be totally fine. You're not going to die. die. 13. You miss. Bonus action. Fucking 16. You miss. Yeah. There's only two birds left. 12. Oh. I lied. There's three birds left. You miss. Miss again. Yeah. It's yep. Great. Suck it. Neath, it's your right turn now. I was doing All great. Right. Earlier. Oh, this one might as well be X'd out. That one's grappled. That one's not attacking. Grappled as fuck. All right. I'm- so there are two birds left. There is one that Ari is currently battling, and one that is swooping around Ari. So both of them are around Ari, plus the one that Pan is holding. How is Pan holding it? With his dick. How's, how's he holding up? <laughs> so he's got his hand around the neck of the he's bird. He's got it impaled with so his So there giant is dong. about two feet of body, <laughs> and there is a nine foot wingspan flapping effortly, or flying, okay. uh, flapping frantically. And then there's one foot of head and beak. There's three birds that okay. need to be murdered. I go in to basically yeah. just like neath. slash the head off. Yes. Of the one the pan's holding? Of the one the pan is oh, holding. Oh, nice. Slashy, slash. Nice. 
20. Nat 20. He's going to miss it to cut his hand off. Nat 50. Nailed 16. It. That misses. Damn. Well, you didn't roll a one, so. <laughs> I did not man roll was, a one. Man yeah. was at no risk of getting cut. So he, he still has his hand. Yep, he still, still has hand. his hand. I just kind of went over. I, uh, I overcompensated what happened. Dice are failing me. And then Pan is going to stop playing symbols with his shield. Love it. And instead, he's going to raise his arm over his head that has the bird, and he's going to swing the weight of the body downward on your daggers. Nice. He knows what those daggers are capable of. Oh, God. Roll well. Hey, that'll do it. Uh, bang. Hey. Roll the damage for bang, bang, Twisted. Bang. For Twisted? Yeah, for Twisted. As what? a bird carcass comes clanging down onto your dagger. Oh, hold on. It landed on the side. Uh, just, just say six. It was a one, so you don't want it. You know, cheat. What are we doing? Eight. <laughs> when am I going to permeate into you? Fourteen. I mean, okay, we're not talking about that. <laughs> fifteen. Fifteen damage? This bird takes fifteen damage as Pan begins using your daggers <laughs> to his advantage. And with his second attack, he's going to do the exact same thing. Roll the damage on fate. All right. Nice. So two, so two daggers just. He only does a d6 with his shield. Her daggers do infinitely more damage than that. It does a d50 with a shield. It's just a d6. 17. 17 well, more damage? I mean, if you do it right. D60. Daft's got one over there. It was supposed to be and a d100, Pan but Wish gave her a d6. And laughs out loud as he's having fun filleting <laughs> this bird on your daggers. Ha, 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 ha. There is one bird that gets to attack, and Ari, it's going to attack you, Bring and it on, it's bitch. going to miss. I'm dead. I'm dead. I died. It missed. I died. <laughs> you did not die. You didn't die. It missed. It scared me to death. You I'm did dead. not die. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, the 16 is dead. The 16 is grappled. Jelly? So there are two birds left, right? Uh, there huh. is one that has not been touched, and there is one that is still flapping around Ari. I like to go over, I like over the one flapping. How, far, how close is it to Ari? Just kill Ari. Like, it's f circling around him. It's within melee range. You could jump and catch it with your teeth again if you want. Or kill Ari. <laughs> I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to try to catch it with... Use a bis magic. It again. So, You're not going to die. Calm so down. I have advantage, and it's plus five Don't to hit. challenge me. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Yeah, no. Okay. You have advantage. All right, 23. You successfully snatch it out of the air. As you open your nice. mouth and jump, the body of the bird that Jelly. was mm, in your mouth effects. falls to the ground. <laughs> there we go. And you grab the bird that was harassing Ari. Ari, you see You're a welcome. big giant direwolf jumping directly at your face. I make kissy face. <laughs> and as it jumps, it jumps past you, snatching this bird out of the air. <laughs> That's what's up. All right, and then I want to bite down on it. You can do so. Just roll your damage. 2d6 plus 3. 6. Okay, Savage Attacker. 6. Let's go. Eh. Damn. 12 damage. 12 Fif damage? 50 damage. <laughs> <laughs> she said 50. 1,200. Not 12. That one is now grappled and can no longer attack. That one is grappled and can no longer attack. Ari, it's your turn. I'm going to punch um, whichever There one's... is one bird that is still harassing you. I'm going to punch it. hasn't been touched at all. Fucking 19 to hit. You miss. Fuck. Unbelievable. These are dexterous birds. They are flappy and flying They're flying about to fast. be dexterous. That's a nat 20 on the, my bonus on nice. the bullshit. So let me double this damage. So yeah, crit, roll damage twice. That sucked. Nine plus. Roll Ooh. all three of your Nine. hits double damage. 18. As your first hit was so critical, it stunned it in the air for so just a moment. So critical. But because you are a fast flurry of blowsy monk, that moment of hesitation is all you needed to follow up with your extra attack and your unarmed strike. While it's... You're in, like, uh, Neo Matrix mode at the moment. All right, well, that was 18 on the first one, it's like then. like one punch man going on. Sucked. Uh, 11 on the second one. That was rolling double damage? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my hell. <laughs> <laughs> and you're rolling a D8 plus a D6, right? Yep. Okay. Well, 11's not bad. That's just three under max. 
17. So 18, 11, and 17. 18, 11, and 17. 35 plus 11 is 46. Woo! Yikes! <laughs> uh, Neith, it is your turn. Whoops, some ass. All right. So, there is sea bass. The one that Ari just flurried of blows <laughs> quite successfully bass. that has fallen to the ground as it's dazed and confused, getting pummeled so heavily. There is one high school girls in Jelsira's mouth that is kicking and, and probably not going to get very totally far. There is the one that Pan was throwing on your daggers, playing playing it like uh, what are those uh, xylophones? <laughs> <laughs> and then the one that yeah, the one that Ari hit on the ground and dazed, the one in Jelly's mouth, and the one in Pan's hand. Those are the last three remaining. All right, birds. I'm going for the one in Pan's hands. Nice. Don't roll a one, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need Pan's hands. I did not roll a one. 18. You hit? Nailed it. I don't think you can't not kill it. Can't not kill it. I think even minimum of damage, one, two, three, four. That do extra. Be extra. Be best. 18 so far. <laughs> okay. Be best. Okay, keep going. Yeah, I mean, if you want, I can't believe you can't that. not Is kill it. it. Was our vice yeah, it's going okay. to die. It's going to be dead. Okay, there you go. Unreal. So. Holy fuck. On the upswing, when what Pan was getting world? ready to swing it back down onto your daggers, <laughs> you slice upwards, meeting Pan's hand Me mid-air, best. and you cut the head clean off. The head S- flies up over the 12-foot <laughs> wall, <laughs> and Quicksilver mercurial-like blood yeah. splashes out of the body as Pan... Drops the bird to the ground. There is another heavy, another heavy thud. Let's go, champ. As this metal silver feathered bird hits the ground, and Pan's going to pee. Make his way to the one that's on the ground. Mm. He's going to pick it up, and he's going to toss it in Ari's direction. And Pan's going to say, "Roundhound." Roundhouse kick this fucking bird. You got it, champ. And he's going to throw it in Ari's direction. You don't have to roll. It, it can't not die. And killed it. <laughs> it only had four HP left. Kablam! So Ari kicks the bird that was chucked in his direction. There is a large metal clang. Lift and a up with my wings as I f- roundhouse kick. Nice. Large flash of key that lights up the forest for just a moment. As he kicks the bird back towards the center of the arena. Bye bye, bitch. Into the other birds that were eating the wolves and the deer. We got some food. And the other birds go to try to eat this other bird, but their beaks bounce off of what appears to be metal feathers. Let's go, champ. And now around you guys are corpses of five birds with a bunch of different feathers lying around. There, there's no more birds. All of the birds are dead. I, I thought there it. was still one in my mouth. Oh, I yeah. So too. I didn't kill it. I'll chop no, you the didn't. Shit out there of is the still one <laughs> left in your mouth. I oh, forgot fuck. bird number four. I crossed it out, but that's because it was grappled and it couldn't escape. So, uh, yeah, go ahead. You can do whatever you so choose. The rest of us are out of turns, and I don't think... Is anybody going to try and get in between this dire wolf and the bird in her mouth? No. Nah. Yeah, okay. So we're just going to pass... <laughs> We're going to pass that ass. Like, no. Yeah, that's a no. That's, that's a hard, hard no for no. me, dog. <laughs> Get it? Because I'm a dog. Yeah. All better. Awesome. All right. Well, I'm just going to keep chowing down on it. Going to chow town. Sweet. Nat. Don't forget you're a savage attacker. Right. Nat 50. 11 damage. And much like the last bird, teeth crunch onto teeth, <laughs> head and feet fall down uh, in front of you. Plop. Yep, just like that. <laughs> and there is a bird corpse now in your massive gaping maw. Fuck yeah. I just kind of take it. As... And there is the blood just <laughs> flipping back and forth and oozing out of her mouth and That's her nose champ. as it looks like she has filled up her <laughs> mouth full of this silvery <laughs> mercurial blood from these Gangster. birds. Gangster. Gangster. Then I drop it. And it falls to the ground with a thud. Nailed it. Nailed it. And it's kind of... And I need three of you to make insight rolls, please. 
Jeez, there's something up with this mercurial blood. 17. <sighs> 8. 13. Ari. What up, G? You've never seen these birds before. Fuck no, I haven't. But you're in the royal hunting grounds. Mm-hmm. They appear to be flashy with beautiful feathers you've never seen before. Something about Apollo rings in the back of your head. Mm-hmm. Apollo? Something about feathers from some kind of birds. Maybe the Stymphalian birds. Is this a task? It could be. You know that there were 12 feathers that Apollo had asked from the Stymphalian birds. Guys, let's quickly grab these feathers. We'll I ask about go it later, grass weirdo. For you understand feathers. words. <laughs> I grab feathers. Pan's like, what the hell are you doing? Just give me feathers, Pan. Help me out get these feathers. Oh, okay. Don't ask questions. Just give me the feathers. <laughs> and then Pan's going to pluck some feathers off of the birds. He's going to give you two of them. As many as you can get. He gives you two of them. That's garbage, Pan. What are you doing? Well, you're only able to get about two feathers from each of the six birds. All right, so two feathers from each bird. Here we go. I'm putting it in my bag. Boop, boop. Neath, you're helping, right? Yep. Yep, Jelly, you're helping, right? Yeah. Let's get these feathers. Okay. Something about a thing and an Apollo and whatever. Okay, I'm helping. Let's go, champ. Twelve feathers in the bag. Boom. Nice. Nailed Congratulations. It. We killed it. As you are there in the clearing, mm-hmm. there is a green portal that opens up in Vaccine. the middle That's of the field. Weird. And it is just swirling with green energy that you can see for just a moment. All right. And then the portal clears up, and you are able to see the altar of the 12 gods huh. on the other side. Guys, we should, we, we should go through and take a short rest. I, I own Wild Shape. I agree Congrats. with that. We should do that. Let's rest. There's a clearing? Are we, did we clear a trial? Well, there's a portal there to the altar, so you could find out. Let's go, champ. Let's go to Let's the altar it. real quick. I, I'm sure I'll they can bring us back to you. this shit. And, and Pan will follow as Pan, well. Pan, come with. This will be fun. We're not going to get a rest in this forest. Mm-mm. That's right. You sure won't. Nope. So you go through the portal. It's like any other portal. It's the best. And you see Apollo. The best portal. Sitting there on top of the altar. Yes. Oh, hi, Apollo. Hi. And he looks up <laughs> at you all with a large grin. What up, buddy? And he says, I did not expect to see you four so soon. You four? And then he looks over at Pan, <laughs> and he says, you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> He's with us. And Pan says, I go wherever the fuck I want. <laughs> like, whoa, Who whoa. the fuck are you? Whoa, Pan, this is Apollo, the sun god. And then Apollo laughs, and he says, your compatriot is right. I'm Apollo, the sun god. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. My bad. <laughs> Aphrodite told me about you. <laughs> and he says, you had time to talk with Aphrodite? And Pan says, nah, not really. I just wanted you to see more important than you really were. And then he gasps, yeah. and he goes, oh, how dare you? And then he says, I believe you have something for me. Yeah. Um, we got some feathers for you. Yeah? You found them? Mm-hmm. Where? In the royal hunting ground. Oh, that makes sense. Wasn't expecting to find him there. You have all 13 feathers? How many feathers do we have, Ari? What, six? I think we got 12. 12? Mm, Unfortunately, you guys needed 13. Well, then why did the portal open? Nah, you caught me. Uh, 12 feathers, please. (laughs) (laughs) Here you go, Chuck. And then he chuckles and he laughs. Neith rolls her eyes so hard. And then one of the stone pillars, about four down from the Hera pillar, begins to glow. It turns into the column, much similar to the other ones. The He puts his hands out towards the pillar. The feathers begin to float and drift like on wind, and they land at the top of the pillar. Then what's carved into the pillar, much like the others, is a caricature of you guys completing a trial. Being awesome. Your battle (laughs) in what looks like you're surrounded by a wall of brambles. I'm imagining like on the pillar, all our heads are like really big, you know, (laughs) making caricatures that get drawn. There are six birds that are floating around you guys. You guys are amidst three corpses. 
Pan is oddly missing from this pillar, despite him being there, but he wasn't part of the trials. We'll tell the tale. Uh, you don't have to. I'm gonna. Because out from walking behind the pillar, as the gold shimmer goes over the pillar, um, walks the other little goat pan. The other ah! pan. <laughs> goat pan. And little goat pan then begins to wave his hand and out rolls the scroll with the magic quill and begins to write the tale of you guys can successfully completing another trial within the hunting grounds. You guys actually skipped a couple for this one. Good job. Nailed it. Nice. I, I am so glad he won that insight roll. Nailed it. Yeah, Good job. I wow. Oh my God. How, what, what did he, I'm just curious. What did we have to beat? You had to be 15. He <sighs> had 18. He was the only one that beat it. Wow. wow. Pan couldn't roll because he wasn't there for the, <laughs> Pan wasn't there for, for the, for the trials. Nice. For the, the doling out of the trials, so Pan uh, couldn't make that roll. That would have been tragic. <laughs> it would have been because then you guys would have been hunting these fucking birds forever, and then it would and have never been knowing another, where another to go. year of this game. Yeah, no fucking way or no shit, right? And then Pan walks over to everybody and pats everybody once in the ass. Oh, congratulations, Go Pan! Go Pan! Yeah, go baby. Pan. Thanks, buddy. Um, congratulations thank you. on another successful trial. I am proud of you guys. We nailed it. But we're in the middle of a different one, though. Yeah, but now would be a good time to drink some ambrosia yes. and take a break. I yeah. drink some ambrosia. And oh, oh, Apollo agreed. waves his hand and a tray floats from Yay. out of the altar to you guys. I there are pause before I drink my ambrosia goblets. and I go and pick up an goblet. Don't waste your ambrosia because Apollo's going to provide it for you as all the gods have when you've successfully completed a trial. You've probably forgotten because it's been a while since you've done so. Apollo. <laughs> and he says... Arigato, These Mr. are going to Apollo. look gorgeous <laughs> at the rising sun. I'm funnier than I'm not as funny as I, I, I am. I mm. look forward to perhaps being able to see this thing you're talking about, the rising sun with the feathers. The portal's going to stay open until you go back through it. You're free to rest here if you would like. I'm happy to rest here. But uh, not that you need to. You just had some ambrosia. But yeah, you, you're welcome to stay to the Rigor, rising sun. You're going to make some feathers action with the rising sun? Yeah. I'd love to see nice. it if possible. Nice. So, as you've stepped through the portal into the altar of the 12 gods, it appears to be around noon, like high noon. So, the sun is blazing in the sky. You Hell won't yeah. see it until the next day when the sun rises. Take it to bang, bang. So, feel free to sleep here if you want. It's entirely safe. I definitely sleep. And meditate 30 minutes sleep. Oh, God damn. Oh, is yeah. It? Way over. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're almost at two hours. So, wow. Okay. We're Fuck, we are. Wow, too much fun. So you guys um, get a camp prepared to relax and rest for the evening. Uh, you guys can eat and enjoy a meal if you would like. Yeah, Do I, that. I, I will like provide it to you. I oh, definitely thank God. don't I to break into my, my magic rest. mushroom stash. Yeah, don't, because <laughs> Apollo will provide you with a meal on a successful thank hunt you, Apollo, of you the birds. Thank you, Apollo, you wonderful, wonderful God. And you guys can have a relatively easy afternoon into evening. Love it. Where that will do us for this episode Thanks. of Some Would Play. Please listen next time as the party continues their adventures into the Royal Hunting Grounds. Well, what a, a fucking plot twist. Night. Thanks for listening, everybody. <laughs> Bye. 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 Still awesome. Plot twist. Thank you for listening to Some Would Play, a production of the Outsanity Network. Join us again next week as the story continues. Find us online at www.somewouldplay.com and be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Some Would Play. Deborah is at Sonia Taki. Rico is at R1C0. Daphne is at Dafterthought. And I am Psychedelic M. If you enjoy the show, please tell your friends and share it with others. And remember, in real life, you needn't roll for initiative, so just seize it.